you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Just a minute. Miss Dara Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Okay. I have been promoted. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> what is this, sir? What? My appointment has been terminated. What have I done, sir? As you can see, I'm just carrying out the instruction of the enemy. I don't know what your face is. You have to believe me. That's your problem, please. Ah! That was how my letter of promotion turned to letter of termination. <coughs> Sir, I worked in that organization for 10 years without being promoted, despite my hard work and good record. You mean for the whole 10 years, you were never considered for promotion? This is serious. Sir, can I ask a question? Go on, ask a question. Why do the children of God suffer and unbelievers enjoy it? Uh, uh, why this question? Thank you, sir. The MD of the organization is an unbeliever. The manager is an unbeliever. Even the lady that was promoted, she's also an unbeliever. Unbelievers are riding good cars, building mansions, any good money. Even their children attend the best schools in town. But we, the children of God, we are suffering. We face one challenge to another. Daddy, we are going. Okay. Freedom by. Please don't stay long. And take good care, my son. All right. My sister, I also want to ask you these questions. Who owns everything in this world? God. That's good. Who are the enemies of Satan? The children of God. That's good. In case unbelievers die, where will they spend their eternity? Air fire. On the contrary, if the born again Christians, committed ones, die, where will they also spend their eternity? Heaven, of course. My sister, he who has Christ has everything. Everything we need to make it in this world. It has been specially arranged and packaged inside Jesus. And moreover, whatever Jesus gives, apart from being genuine, is always permanent. Unlike the counterfeit, deceit, and fake that the devil claimed to give, who is only temporary. My sister, Christians of today have two major problems. Number one is that of sin. Isaiah 59, past past one and two. It says, the hands of God is not certain and cannot save. Neither is ear heavy that cannot hear. Past two says, that it is a wily cuties that have brought about a separation between us and God. And that our sins has hidden his face from us and cannot hear us. So any Christian that commits sin, they are the ones that give the devil upper arms over their life. Number two problem is prayerlessness or laziness in prayer. John 16, verse 24. It says we should ask and receive that our joy may be full. 
Many Christians ask, but before their joy is full, they have stopped. In the book of Daniel, chapter 10, verses 12 and 13, from the first day that Daniel prayed, his answer had been delivered. But here come this Prince of Persia that hindered him for a good 21 days. If Daniel had stopped prayer on the 20th day, it would have been as if he had not prayed at all. And again, Liman, that great soldier, captain, who was said to be a leper, he was told to dip himself into that river seven times. That's from Second King, chapter 5, from verses 10 down to 14. If Liman had stopped at the sixth time, it would have been as if he has not done anything. So many Christians, they stop before their joy is full. My sister, by the way, when did this thing happen? Two months ago, sir. Two months ago? And I see you in Sunday service, Bible study, and you never informed me. I'm sorry, sir. I was thinking they were going to call me back. You should have told me. I'm sorry, sir. Anyway. My sister, I think you need to find time to see the face of God personally on this issue. And I know God will share this light and every hidden thing that may manifest. David was a committed Christian like you, a man that will not dip his hand into blood. In fact, his entrumment was arranged by God. But when he arrived on the throne, here come this chronic famine. He ran to God and God answered him. That's from 2 Samuel chapter 21 verse 1 there. Mama Rebecca also when she became pregnant and began to have unusual feelings, she also ran to God and God answered her. Hebrew 13 8. He said, This God is the same yesterday and today and forever. As you go to seek his face, I trust him and I believe in him. He will surely answer you in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we appreciate you because we are still God. We have not changed. You, you can never leave him because you are God. Stop that! Why? And for how long will you continue to enslave this lady? Why? I will continue to enslave her as long as she lives because I am the accuser of the pageant. Accuser? You don't need to introduce yourself. You are Lucifer. The money star that fell. You are the accuser of the pageant. And so what? What do you want from me? This is my territory, this is my domain, and they are my country. What? I have come to set a free. I will take her to a land of refuement in life. Do I hear you say Yes, you hate me. That is impossible. She can never be free, and she will never be free. Have you forgotten what is written in John? It assists that if the sun shall set them free, they shall be free indeed. If she's free, why does she still remain in my captivity? And I'm saying against all authority on her, she can never be free. Can you tell me the reason why you insisted that she cannot be free? He will ask a question, demands for an answer. Hundred years ago. I 
Grandfather, and now is the time for revenge, and I have risen to revenge, for it is written in Exodus 20 verse 5 that for God is a jealous God, visited the iniquities of the father upon the children from the fourth generation to the fourth. There is also an adage of this that says the fathers are sitting before graves, and now the children sit are set on edge. Say no more. The fathers are eating the swagrams. And the shooters did a seven age. The soul that sinned, shall die for his own sin. He that eaten the sagas, his own deed shall be seven age. Jeremiah 31, 29 to 30. Is that all? No, that's not all. Look, on I is a fit garment that does not qualify for any success or great promotion in life. Don't worry, I will give you a call. Sorry. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I'm on my way, sir. I'm presently at Lagos Island, sir. Okay, sir. I'll be there soon. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hold on. Did you just say Lagos Island? Why are you here at Alagbadu? But I didn't tell him that. He will keep disturbing me. But you have changed. I know you to be a good Christian. What has come over you? See you tomorrow. Bet, you said she is a believer. Yes, I know how to be a good Christian. Hey. But she has suddenly changed. Hmm. This answers will send many Christians to hellfire. You God save his children. Paul John 5 17 says. All unrighteousness is a sin. And Proverbs 14 34 says, Righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. Angel of mercy. For Hospital 115 says, Be holy and die every father is holy. And he that is sin, know he is, is of the devil. Because 4 John 3 8 says, He that commits sin is of the devil. And the verse 9 says, He that is born of God, do not sin. As long as the seed of God remains in, he will not sin because he is born of God. Therefore, she can never be free. Truly, she sinned, but she has sought for forgiveness and she has been forgiven. For it is written in 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things, all things had become new. Truly she sought for forgiveness, but she never forsake those sins. And not only that, in John 1 41, Arthur told his mother about Christ. In John 1 45, Philip told Nathaniel about Christ, but she never did. There was even a particular day.
Natasha that you just pour water on me. I'm sorry. Sorry. You are sorry. Sorry. Is that all you say? What else do you want me to say? I said I'm sorry. Please don't disturb it. Go ahead and change your clothes now if you are dirty. What are you even putting on? Go and change it now. Or is there more to it? I said I'm sorry. Please, I have better things to think about. Not even with the nightmares I'm having of prisons. I'm thinking of how to give my life to Jesus and have a change of story. Please leave me alone. You, give your life to Jesus. Jesus is not interested in people like you. Nonsense. Sister Shola. She left home this afternoon. All we heard was that Sister Shola was involved in an auto crash. Jesus. Jesus. She was in the case. Out of 12 passengers, only Sister Shola died. Jesus. No. Push my word to her. I have prepared a heart for salvation. Preach the word of salvation to her now. Because there is danger ahead of us. Jesus! No! 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 She wants to have pushed the baby. But she didn't. Because of anger and pride. Mark 16 this is. Go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And end it. In Matthew 20, 19, that baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost, Angel of Mercy. She hates saying the word evangelism. She doesn't evangelize. And also, she's a thief. Ah, thief! I'm not a thief! Ah, my salary is gone again. Mm, I think I will have to borrow this title again. My sister's school fees is still there. Ah, could we understand? By the time I receive increase in my salary, it will be easier for me to pay my tithes. I'll borrow it. I'll borrow it again. I'll have to borrow it again. The fact this is an arm robber, Malachi 3, verses 7 to 9 says, even from the days of the fathers. Ye have departed from my ordinances, and I am not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. And she asked, Wherein shall we return unto you? Will the man of God? Yet ye have robbed me, said the Most High. She asked again, Wherein have we robbed thee? Angel of mercy, the Most High says, Do your tithe and offering. And the verse 9 emphasized on it. Ye are caused, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. She doesn't pay her tithes and she doesn't give the most high good offering. <laughs> Angel of mercy, she can never be free from her captivity. Ah! <laughs> Why? Why have you allowed the accuser of your soul to have finance over you again? This will be the tenth time. That is the tenth year that I have been coming here to deliver you from his hand. But each time I come, he always has one or two things to say about you. And mind you, you cannot be free until you are set to be free. 
<laughs> it is true that you don't preach the gospel. The Lord gave his church command to go to the world and preach the gospel. But the church has failed the master. And that includes you. You enjoy doing your own business. Why you left the business of the master undone? What a shame! Truly the harvest is plenteous. But the laborers are few. The worst of it all. You are robbing the most high God. You refuse to pay your tithe unto him. He gave you ten. He asked you to return one back to him in appreciation. But you refused. Do you think the ten you gathered came as a result of your education, connections, or intelligence? No! The scripture says, by strength shall no man prevail. He asked you to bring it. Not because you wanted to eat it, but because you wanted to open up through the windows of heaven and pour down his blessings into your life so that there will not be enough room to take it and also rebook the vulgar for your sin. But you refuse. Now, everyone is mourning over you. Attend unto my prayer. From the end of the health will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I, Lord. Or mercy for you. Fool. Accuser. I rebuke you. As the Lord has chosen Jerusalem, I rebuke you. Angel of mercy. I hope you are not here to help her. Yes. I am finally set to set her free. Luke sister Sam says, Judge not, so that ye may not judge. Condemn not. So that ye may not be condemned. Forgive. So that ye may be forgiven. Matthew 6 14. Uh, what is it again? How will she know? Angel of mercy, ask her how many Sunday school classes has she attended this year? Four. Four. Angel, she don't even know what is written in 2 Timothy 2 15. Study to show thyself, approve unto God. A workman that did not to be ashamed, rightly divided the word of truth. She doesn't even know the word. How can she divide it? As I was saying, Matthew 6 14 and 15 says, If ye forgive men their trespasses against you, your heavenly father will forgive you your trespasses. But verse 15 says, if ye do not forgive men, they are trespasses against you. Neither will your heavenly father forgive you your trespasses. Then in our church, who offended her, never forgive her. Dominate you. Amen. In the battle 
of life. The strength of Israel will be your strength. Amen. You will not be defeated. Amen. Every form of delay is removed on your way in Jesus' name. Amen. I deliberately brought you here so that we can talk. Why didn't you attend Sister Jane's wedding? Mommy, I don't just feel like going. What? If I should go there, I will not be happy. Ah, is she not your, your friend? She is, but she didn't carry me along during our preparation hmm. for the wedding. Hmm. I don't know, maybe it's because she's getting married before me. Hey. Sister Dara. Mommy, I don't want her to just feel as if I'm proud. Hmm. That's why I don't want to go. Stop and you it. feel you are not proud the way you are you are talking? I know, Ma. Hmm. Hmm. Are we still going to heaven? Eh? Are we still brethren? Are we still going to heaven for God's sake? Ah. Oh. What about the teachings of forgiveness? Why should you allow small thing to disturb you from doing the right thing? Eh? Ah. Sister Dara, try and forgive her whatever she has done. She didn't offend me, ma. She didn't offend me. Are you sure? Try and forgive her. She didn't offend me. She didn't offend me. I don't just want her to feel any. Hmm. No one with an unforgiving spirit will enter the kingdom of God. I want you to think very well. Hmm. Have a change of heart. Whatever she has done to you or whatever is between you, try and forgive and forget. Go right now to her and make the necessary restitution. Okay, my very man. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, ma. The man who they had little misunderstanding. In fact, during the church service, there are no more talking about. Angel of mercy, can I ask you a question? Yes. Go. Has the word of God changed? Hmm. The grasses withered and the flowers faded, but the word of our Lord shall stand forever. Isaiah 40 verse 8 The word of the Lord has never changed Therefore, she can never ah! Have mercy upon me, Lord Forgive me, Lord Forgive me Deliver me from the accuser of my soul Set me free, Lord Lord, I forgive Sister J I forgive Miss Shola, Lord. I forgive those that have sinned against me. In fact, Lord, I forgive everyone that is still going to sin against me in advance. Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Father, have mercy, Lord. Remember 
your word. James 2 verse 13. That mercy rejoice over judgments. Jesus, deliver me, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, have mercy. Lord, I cry for mercy, Lord. Jesus, I cry for mercy. Jesus, have mercy. Jesus, show mercy, Lord. Show mercy. So many times. Lord, I cry for your mercy. Not knowing these are things my accusers use against me. All I'm seeking for now is mercy. Mercy for my soul. I'm not going to do this, but... Tara Mola, over the time, I've been sending the angel of mercy to intervene in your matter. Our sins will not let you go. Just now, you moved my hands. And I can see a sincere heart. I can see a heart that is genuinely repented. I can see a heart that has given all of you. Hence, I have come to set you free, because whosoever is set free shall be free indeed. Accuser, my word says in the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 16, that it is not of him that will it, not of him that will it, but of me that showeth mercy. Listen, when mercy appears, judgment will disappear. In the presence of my mercy, every error and mistakes are forgotten. She has asked for that mercy today, and the mercy has located her. Diamola, I take away every filthy garment from you. No, 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 no. No! Ah! Ah! Jesus, I thank you. Thank you for setting me free. Lord, I praise your name. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. For your mercy, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for your mercy. Jesus, I thank you for setting me free. Lord, I thank you. There is no one like you who can do me like you do. There is no one like you, our father. No, there's no problem. Mr. Amola. Please, I want to be free from the captivity of the accuser of my soul. I want to accept Jesus, please. You? Ah, yes. Please lead me to Christ. Jesus. It's alright. Let's go inside. Thank you. <laughs> Prince of Peace. How about Miss Pupola? Who to deliver her to? No, I won't because I do not know her. I know my sheep and my sheep knows me. Many of my children have preached the gospel to her, but she refused to accept me as a personal Lord and Savior. I will reject everyone who rejects me and forsake those who forsake me. Daramala, she is not yet mine. Let's go. Please! Please deliver me! Deliver me from the hand of the 
accuse of my soul. No. Please. Ah, I lose one. He knows his people. He only fights for his people and you are not among them. His promises are meant for those who are giving their lives to him. And not people like you. Who is this? Why have I done this to myself? <laughs> Why do I refuse to accept him as my Lord and Savior? <laughs> Why do I ignore this world? Ah! I'm doomed. Yes! You are doomed. And I'll give you no chance for repentance. That was how I woke up. I thought I was dead. In fact, I could not sleep again. You shall not die, but live in Jesus' name. Amen. I ran to see him this morning. My friends called me. He said he's quitting the relationship between us. As if that was not enough. Getting to the office this morning, the manager gave me a sack letter. <sighs> I'm fed up. I think I need that Jesus now. Please lead me to Christ. Mm. It is well. Let us pray. Let's put our hands together. Say after me. Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Please, my Lord, renew me, Lord. And renew me, Lord. Grant me another opportunity. Grant me another opportunity to serve you. To serve you. And I will serve you. And I will serve you. I will love you. I will love you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, good afternoon. Ah, hello, sir. Yes, sir. I'm at home, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. His name did I called. He said he's coming to this place. Okay. Okay, I'll wait for you. You wait? Yes. It is well. There is nobody like you, like you. My father. So, that is my letter of apology. Um, I'm very sorry for instructing the manager to terminate your appointment. And take this. That is a letter of promotion for you. I realized that for about 10 years you've been working in my company. You have never been promoted. This man is the cause, my manager. Is the one in charge. My own is just to sign anything that is put in front of me on the table. For that, I'm giving you double promotion. Double promotion? Double promotion for you. Thank you, sir. Not only that, <clears throat> for the two months you've been at home, your two months salary will be paid. An official car is waiting for you from now on. Not only that, I will send you to United Kingdom for a course that will boost your profile to make you fit for your new post. Thank you, Jesus. Accuser, you have fed over my life. But, sir, I'm sorry. I don't think I can work in your organization. But why? I don't want to work in a place that will not give me time to serve my girl. <laughs> okay, I understand you. Um, your present position will give you enough time to serve your God. So, I want you to know that some weeks ago, I gave my life to Christ. Hallelujah. 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 An hour ago, Miss Fupola gave her life to Christ too. Ah, what? Are you sure? Yes, sir. That's wonderful. Okay, in that case, um, 
the letter of this letter that was given to you is withdrawn by the grace of God. Yes. So your appointment is no longer terminated. Two of you go ahead with your work. Thank you, sir. So because I've realized the impact of having godly people working with somebody in the same office. So congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, accuser. You have finally failed over my life. Thank you, Jesus. See you. 